If you've walked the streets of any U.S. city, you've probably spotted these. Disposable vapes seem to be everywhere, with those little lithium batteries inside becoming a vast amount of toxic waste. When I'd be walking home from work, I would notice these just littered, you know, all over the floor and on the road. So Chris Dole gave it some thought. Whenever the puff on it, I'd, I'd notice these little lights blinking at the bottom. And it really got me thinking, there's, there's got to be some valuable electronics inside these. So I began collecting them, taking them home and dissecting them. And then he realized something. They're meant to be used at least 500 times, but we're using them once and throwing them straight in the bin. Then he realized something else. A battery is just a battery. So he collected 130 of them left behind at a music festival and turned them into something remarkable. One man's trash is another man's fully rechargeable bicycle battery, right? Absolutely, yeah, that's it. A recent study found that the U.S. throws out four and a half vapes per second. Waste that would stretch more than 7,000 miles in a year. That would take you to New York and London and back. This e-bike battery has got 13 little 3D printed modules that all stack together to build a massive battery pack. And then this casing here is also 3D printed, and that's what holds the whole thing together. I've been using this on my e-bike battery daily, and it has at least between 30 and 50 miles range. So 30 miles range if I don't pedal. All from free batteries that were just chucked and littered all over the streets. And things are just as bad in the UK, where they throw out 1.3 million of these things every week. Lucas Gutterman studies this stuff for a living. There's just no standard way to recycle these products. Consumers are, are, are really confused what to do. They want to do the right thing. And so really, they just shouldn't exist at all. And, and we really have to move away from these single-use disposable vapes. Even with the popularity of single-use vapes exploding in recent years, Gutterman says things are moving in the right direction. So the UK is going to ban all disposable vapes in June. Australia has already banned and there's interest from states from California to Kansas uh, to ban uh, disposable vapes in the U.S. as well. In the meantime, Chris is out there giving hope for a new kind of buzz, one that turns waste into something charged with purpose. So while everybody is getting buzzed on their vapes, you're just cruising around town uh, on their batteries. It's an amazing feeling, to be honest, knowing that I'm running on cells that would otherwise have been compacted in a landfill and forgotten about for thousands of years. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.